that he was tiny wanted to be able to go to his friends and be like you know oh we beat you and we kept you out of the major surely there's this part of them that's like man it's first game back we have to prove ourselves and like stay up there in the top numbers absolutely like every win is important these days you know with teams like uh ob neon taking series off t1 Really is Anything can game. happen now. Yep. All right, we are going to try the interview again with Jabs. Hopefully he can only hear us and not himself this time. Jabs, thank you for joining us, taking a second shot at it. But I'll ask my question again. How did you and Fnatic go with the mental reset after losing game one? Uh, it was pretty easy for us because like, we, know, we knew that we lose because of, like we play bad. And, and then like we I didn't dive well. Okay. The first game too. Yeah, what do you think then was the key to success in game number two and three? I think we just play more calm and like do what is right in the game. Uh, hey Jabs, I love that you're an offlaner and a captain. I was wondering uh, how that's been going for you, like, because you changed roles after TI. So like, how do you how do you function as a captain and an offlaner like in game? Like, what's the difference in the change? I uh, think it's pretty normal for me, like, nothing changed much, it's just, like, I have to focus on last hits, because, like, I used to play as support, and last hits were, like, my big problem, because I couldn't, like, last hit properly in the start. <laughs> yeah, cool. So, uh, do you feel like, uh, over the weeks, that sort of improved, you've got a, that balance right a little bit more, or does that mean, perhaps, leaning on the rest of your team to maybe take up some of the, the shot calling and more of the captain style of role? Uh, I think in the game we kind of like help each other to call like wh wh whoever is like strong in the game like call that like, smoke or like want to do do this or do that just depend depending on the game. Mm. And was it a specific focus for your team as well? Obviously, we we thought that last pick Timbersaw would be pretty decent for them, but it really felt like it was a, a key target for the rest of your team to be able to, you know, go in and make sure that Masteros didn't have too much of a game. Um, was that something that you called out, or is it something that just ended up happening as uh, the game went along? I think it's just, like, what happened after, like, happening in the game. Like, we didn't plan it, like, to kill him, but, like, he just, like... So uh, be there and like we just kill him. Well, just out of the uh, out of position. The last question I do want to ask before we let you go was: Was there anything at all throughout the three games drafting wise that took you guys a little bit of surprise and maybe put you on the back foot? Mm, we not not really like we 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 knew it's like was coming in the draft like we we kind of knew like they're gonna pick PL on eighteen and. We don't really have like much answer, but we we still play it, right? Yeah, you guys played amazingly, and congratulations again on winning this series. I'll let you go and join the team, but thank you so much for answering some of our questions. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> It's always good to hear from them. I, I like asking the mental reset question because I think sometimes it is really hard to come back from a game no matter what we say. It's like, oh man, game one, that looked really rough. But mm. I guess they just kept focusing on this.